Hey guys, I'm Vanessa from House in the Sand and today I'm st in Stuttgart with Jamie Lawson. <laughs> Alright, so you've been on tour with Ed Sheeran for the last few weeks, mm -hmm. right? so how, how has it been? Uh, pretty special, yeah. quite amazing. Okay. Um, I've kind of gone from playing very little tiny shows, you, yeah. know, you know, 50 people or so to a few thousand. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so it's been it's been really good fun. And people have been very kind. I guess the crowds are bigger. Yeah. Are they also different in other reactions? Uh, as in from town to town? Yeah, or just in general at at crowds and your crowds? Well, yeah, yeah, maybe they're probably slightly younger. Yeah. So they're a bit more screamy. Yeah. <laughs> right. um, but you know that's nice. Yeah, it's cool. Right. <laughs> I, I can deal with that. So. That's yeah. very good. Yeah. <laughs> and how do you prepare for a gig? Are there any rituals? As? Not really. I like to do a bit of singing before I go on. Mm -hmm. So like uh, maybe in half an hour, an hour before, I'll sing three or four songs mm -hmm. just to get in the mood because I only have a very short amount of time yeah. and it's hard to get in the right frame of mind when you're yeah, up there, if you know that. what I mean. So yeah. I have to yes. kind of do that beforehand. Okay. Kind of have my own gig yeah, back here and then I carry it on. Okay. There, so that's, that's the idea anyway. Yeah, and are there any things like you have to have with you on stage? Like no, nothing. I have You're no superstitions rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. And um, you're also known for honest and deep lyrics. Oh, I mean. Yeah, do you nice. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have special influences? Maybe some writers, or is it just music people? Um, it's mainly kind of singer songwriters mm -hmm. that go uh, way back to now, really. You know, I, I really like people like James Taylor and Joni Mitchell, yeah, um, as well as Dylan Cohen and now you know Damien Rice and Ray LaMontagne, and I also like bands like REM. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of them. So, yeah. So it's just music people. It's kind of yeah. I mean, I do like certain poets and, yeah. and writers, like uh, I'm a big fan of John Irving books yeah. and there's a poet called Ian Hamilton that I really love uh, that nobody's ever heard of ever. Okay. So Yeah, I was just going to say that. But, um, <laughs> he just writes these kind of very short, succinct poems that are very yeah. beautiful. So I like I like his stuff. Okay. But I don't know if that kind of comes across or not. Yeah. I've, I've no idea. Personally. It's just, yeah. Yeah, okay. You also had a lot of success on YouTube. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So how would you say does online media affect you as a musician? Um, Are you a fan of it? Or? Well, I have to be really because yeah. <laughs> because of the I had success in Ireland yeah. um, because of a song on YouTube yeah. uh, and I got to do touring there and I had you know TV and radio and all those things and had a kind of like a number one song or a number number one iTunes song and a number yeah. three actual song. Um, so I have to be. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm kind of, I'm still on the on the fence as to what Spotify is. Yeah. If it's yeah, any good it's... or not, you know. So right. I don't think I've ever made any money off it, and yeah, people obviously use it. So, great. but uh, Ed would say it's everything is great. Okay. You get whatever people listen to, wherever yeah. they listen to, it's fine. They come yes. to the shows, and that's where it yeah, adds up, you know. So exactly. But um, I don't know if that's will happen to me or if that yeah. happens to other artists or just yeah. Ed. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't know. So. It's, it's weird. Yeah. Yeah, you also moved to Ireland because of music. Right? I did, yeah. Yeah, was it kind of, you know, a bit of a fear to move there and or was it just, I'll do it and it's okay? Well, it's kind of strange. I'd done these gigs in London with a couple of Irish singers and they said, you should come over. And I went and did quite a few tours there, supporting different bands and quite big bands. So I thought, oh, well, this will be fun. I'll go and yeah. live there for a bit and see if yeah. it works. And I did. Uh, I went and I moved there and it didn't work at all. Oh, so <laughs> wow. I was there about a year and I got a job in a record shop. Um, and after a year, I was pretty miserable. So I moved yeah. back to Cornwall and I lived yeah. in a caravan wow. in, in Cornwall. And I lived there for quite, a, you know, maybe two or three years, I think, before then suddenly okay. taking off in Ireland again. So it's kind of strange. Just as I was moving, I was moving from Cornwall to London. Yeah. And then just as I did that, it took off in Ireland. So I had to spend a whole year in so Ireland again. Kind of a bit better timing, right? Well, yeah. It's kind <laughs> of strange the way it worked, but um. Yeah, but it worked. At least it worked. Yeah. yeah it works. <laughs> I've also watched your Facebook page. Oh and yeah. And you do the song of the week. Yes. Yeah. I do, yeah. Do you have any tips for us? Because we run a music blog for kind of unsigned musicians. So oh, okay. Do you have some tips? Um. Hmm, I don't know. 
the song of the week thing is really kind of songs that could be by anyone as in it could be the biggest artist at the moment or it yeah. could be someone who I live next door to okay. it's just yeah. it just has to be a song I really like and yeah. then I'll try and explain why okay. uh, in some way and hope that sometimes people know the person and sometimes yeah. they won't and they get to introduce get to, to yeah. new acts you know yeah. but uh, as for unsigned people like I know quite a few people that I think are amazing that I think should be huge stars yeah. and that aren't yeah. um, there's a singer I like at the minute called Adam Barnes, who I think is brilliant. He's you know been on him? Block already. Oh, cool. <laughs> amazing. Well, that's amazing. Yeah, Hi, I think he's fantastic. Uh, and another guy called Paul Mosley, who I think is brilliant, and my friend Cal Lavelle, who also has supported Ed before. Yeah. So, uh, and another singer called Stephanie O'Brien, who I think is incredible. So, you know, there's thousands out there doing this thing. Yeah, yeah. So. so many talented people. Yeah. 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 And I've got a fair question from Twitter. Have you? Now? Yes. <laughs> really? um, it's from the account Jamie Lowe's in Germany. Oh, okay. Yeah. And they're um, asking if something really crazy happened during this tour to you. Hmm. Not yet. The only thing that's kind of weird is that we travel a lot overnight on the bus. Yeah. So I'm on the tour bus. Okay. And I can't sleep when it moves. Oh, no. <laughs> so I've had very, very little sleep. Oh, yeah. So that's not really crazy, it's just, it's just hard yeah, exhausting. <laughs> and weird and I can only, like when, when we arrive at the venue is usually when I then sleep. Oh, so it's kind of strange. Great timing again. Yeah, yeah. so I, I haven't seen any city that I've been to yet. Because you had to sleep. Uh, yeah, yeah. so Sad. that's a bit strange. Well maybe you'll come here again, so. Yeah, no. yeah I'd like that's to. I'm, I'm hoping that I can do a whole tour of the places I played with Ed yeah. on my own and just do very tiny gigs, you know, yeah, sure. and hope that people will come out. I'm sure they will. <laughs> well, let's hope so. <laughs> yeah, fingers crossed. Meet a lot of fans after the gigs, right? You try to, yeah. Try to come out. So how has that been? Were people surprised that you came out? Or I don't know, actually. <laughs> sometimes it's amazing because people yeah. are really excited and sometimes yeah. people just walk past and, and you'll be like, oh, okay, hello. Yeah. Uh, but on the whole, it's been really very positive and yeah. people are very happy and I'm very happy then because yeah, of it. Of so, <laughs> yeah, it's been great. I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Now, we're already at the last question. Okay. Um, what are your plans for the future? Do you, you mean the tour, right? So, well, I'd love to do, I'd, so I'd love to come back and do the places I've played. Yeah. Um, most of the songs I've done on the gigs have all been new songs that people can't get hold of yet, so I'm hoping yeah. to make another record all right. uh, and put those songs out. Uh, which will hopefully be out next year. So the plan is to make a record, put it out, yeah. tour. Perfect, perfect plan. <laughs> yeah. It's probably not that easy, yeah. but, <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, that's, that's the plan, yeah. Cool, great. So thank you so much. Oh, for pleasure. Thanks for coming in. And once again, this was House on the Sand with Jamie Lawson. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.